And in our top business story, the government of Sharjah has announced that it has issued its first Sukuk, a 750 million US dollar 10-year Sukuk al-Ijari issuance, priced at 3.764%. It is not only the government of Sharjah's first issuance, but also the first time a sovereign has executed a 10-year sukuk in its debut issuance. Mohamed Abdullah, the CEO of the Sharjah Islamic Bank, was quoted in local reports as saying that the issuance puts the emirate of Sharjah firmly on the map of global capital markets and makes way for Sharjah-based entities to tap the debt markets for their financing needs. The execution process comes following investor meetings in Singapore, Malaysia, the UAE, Saudi Arabia and the UK. The government communicated initial price thoughts to the market of low to mid 100 basis points over the 10-year mid-swap rate. The government tightened the pricing to the 120 BPS area before finally settling at 110. The final order book swells to 7.85 billion US dollars from around 250 different investors within a day, representing an oversubscription of the eventual issuance of over 10 times. While the investor base in the UA and the wider GCC region was very strong, orders from international high grade and emerging markets investors were also exceptionally high. Sharjah was recently given a strong investment grade credit rating of A stable from Standard and & Poor's and A3 stable from Moody's. HSBC has allocated a further 1 billion dirhams as the second tranche of its fourth international growth fund for UAE SMEs. This comes as the bank's first allocation of the same amount in 2013 was fully assigned to businesses in record speed as according to a statement from the bank. The IGF is open to new and existing customers with cross-border trading requirements or those looking to grow internationally and have an annual turnover of 30 million dirhams and above. SMEs in the UAE contribute approximately 40% of total UA GDP and 70% of non-oil GDP and also employs 42% of its workforce while 70% of the country's SMEs are internationally orientated. Just over 40% of the 2013 fund went to SMEs in Abu Dhabi, while SMEs in Deira received 25% of the fund. SMEs in Dubai and Jebel Ali received approximately 22%, with those in Sharjah and the Northern Emirates allocated 11%. HSBC said that 26% of the fund went to Emirati-owned businesses seeking to further strengthen their international presence, adding that the fund was allocated at an average of 45 million dirhams per month, a record-breaking amount compared to the bank's previous fund allocations. Jebel Ali is the only port outside the Far East to make it into the latest top 10 list of the world's largest ports. The latest container ports ranking from Lloyd's List, Containerization International and the Journal of Commerce all show DP World's flagship Jebel Ali port as the ninth largest in the world. Seven of the top ten are in China, with the other two being Singapore and Pusan in South Korea. His Excellency Sultan Ahmed bin Salayem, the chairman of DP World, was quoted as saying, the Jebel Ali has consistently maintained its top 10 rankings since 1997, thanks to Dubai and the UA's position as the centre for trade in the region, which our port has supported and driven with constant investment in infrastructure to stay ahead of demand. He added that this success is entirely due to the wise and far-sighted vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the UA Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai. In 2013, Jebel Ali added 1 million TEU capacity to its Container Terminal 2 and Container Terminal 3, currently under construction, which will add an additional 4 million TEU capacity, taking total capacity at Jebel Ali to 19 million TEU in 2015. In an effort to lure more home buyers from the UAE and the region to invest in London, 
UK-based property group Chesterton's has unveiled an 821 million dirham luxury residential development. Located close to the major landmarks in London, the Landau project comprises of 89 luxurious apartments in the heart of Fulham. Scheduled to be completed by 2015, the project comprises of one to three bedroom apartments and penthouses, measuring within a range of 540 square foot to around 4,230. Prices for the units start from 5.5 million dirhams for a one bedroom to 10.5 million dirhams for a three bed apartment. According to developers, Landau offers an ideal location for investors looking for a holiday home due to its close proximity to areas such as Kensington, Knightsbridge and a number of educational institutions. According to Chesterton's, the property market in prime areas of London are expected to grow 47.6% over the next five years, making it an ideal investment opportunity which should be appealing for overseas investors, particularly from the UAE. Obviously, there's strong reasons to invest here in the property and the growth we're seeing, but London has always been a strong destination in terms of economic growth, geopolitical stability, the transparency of our legal system. We see a lot of people enjoy coming to London, so also investing in property that they can use and seek benefit from the capital growth. London has always been a, a strong, a strong growing price property market. Over the last 12 months alone, we've seen a growth of 16.5% in the capital value of, of greater London properties, some areas more so, some areas 25%. Kensington and Chelsea, over a sort of seven, eight year period, has done over 50% growth in the value, which has outperformed in the same time gold, oil and the FTSE 100. So as an investment class, property is actually outperforming many of the typically understood investment categories. We definitely looked, looked to both markets and we found, especially when we have a type of product such as the Landau, which we're presenting today, so 89 boutique units in Fulham of a very high quality specification with great transport links and very close to some key institutional centres. So London School of Economics, Imperial College of London, very strong secondary schools, that people who are looking for a base in London or potentially to send people to be educated in London really appreciate what we're offering with this type of scheme.